The easiest way to get into the meditative state is to begin by listening. If you simply close your eyes and allow yourself to hear all the sounds that are going on around you, just listen to the general hum and buzz of the world as if you were listening to music. Don't try to identify the sounds you're hearing. Don't put names on them. Simply allow them to play with your eardrum. Don't judge the sounds. There are no, as it were, proper sounds or improper sounds. It's all just sound. As you hear sounds coming up in your head, you simply listen to them as part of the general noise going on, and soon you will find that the so-called outside world and the so-called inside world come together, come together, come together, come together.
mind dreams 24 hours a day. It dreams when the brain is awake, and it also dreams when the brain is asleep. The difference is that when the brain is awake, there is a material frame that makes us perceive things in a linear way. When we go to sleep, we do not have the frame, and the dream has the tendency to change constantly. Humans are dreaming all the time. Before we were born, the humans before us created a big outside dream that we will call society's dream, or the dream of the planet. The dream of the planet is the collective dream of billions of smaller personal dreams, which together create a dream of a family, a dream of a community, a dream of a city, a dream of a country, and finally, a dream of the whole humanity. The dream of the planet includes all of society's rules. Its beliefs, its laws, its religions, its different cultures and ways to be, its governments, schools, social events, and holidays. We are born with the capacity to learn how to dream, and the humans who live before us teach us how to dream the way society dreams. The outside dream has so many rules that when a new human is born, we hook the child's attention and introduce these rules into his or her mind. The outside dream uses mom and dad, the schools and religion, to teach us how to dream. Attention is the ability we have to discriminate and to focus only on that which we want to perceive. We can perceive millions of things simultaneously, but using our attention, we can hold whatever we want to perceive in the foreground of our mind. The adults around us hooked our attention. Put information into our minds through repetition. That is the way we learned everything we know. By using our attention, we learned a whole reality, a whole dream. We learned how to behave in society, what to believe and what not to believe, what is acceptable and what is not acceptable, what is good and what is bad, what is beautiful and what is ugly, what is right and what is wrong. It was all there already. All that knowledge. All those rules and concepts about how to behave in the world. When you were in school, you sat in a little chair and put your attention on what the teacher was teaching you. When you went to church, you put your attention on what the priest or minister was telling you. It is the same dynamic with mom and dad, brothers and sisters. They were all trying to hook your attention. We also learn to hook the attention of other humans, and we develop a need for attention, which can become very competitive. Children compete for the attention of their parents, their teachers, their friends. Look at me! Look what I'm doing! Hey, I'm here. The need for attention becomes very strong and continues into adulthood. The outside dream hooks our attention and teaches us what to believe, beginning with the language that we speak. Language is the code for understanding and communication between humans. Every letter. Every word in each language is an agreement. Once we understand the code, our attention is hooked, and the energy is transferred from one person to another. It was not your choice to speak English. You didn't choose your religion or your moral values. They were already there before you were born. We never had the opportunity to choose what to believe or what not to believe. We never chose even the smallest of these agreements. We didn't even choose our own name. As children, we didn't have the opportunity to choose our beliefs, but we agreed with the information that was passed to us from the dream of the planet via other humans. The only way to store information is by agreement. The outside dream may hook our attention, but if we don't agree, we don't store that information. As soon as we agree, we believe it, and this is called faith. To have faith. Is to believe unconditionally.